I'm Ryan Chris for CNET Appliances. Today we're taking a look at the Blendtec 725. Now this is a blender that costs $650. It might be the most expensive blender that we've looked at yet. Now this isn't the first Blendtec we've reviewed. Megan Woolerton reviewed the Blendtec Wildside blender last year. That blender did very well. It kept right up at the Vitamix. The two were basically tied at the end of the testing, so we liked that blender a lot, and I was excited to test this one out. This year they've added a better touch screen. If I turn it on, you can see it's got some charm to it. The touch screen is very nice and responsive as you use it. You can slide up and down for the specific pulse speed that you want. It's got all sorts of programmed settings. You can make salsas and soups and smoothies, whatever you want with this thing. And I like all of that. The technical side of it, the touch screen, it's also very powerful. With 1,725 watts and a 3.4 peak horsepower motor, it's got a lot of juice, but perhaps too much for its own good. And let me tell you what I mean. This jar doesn't really sit on there totally secured. It's not locked in. There's nothing that's really bracing it. And so as you're blending with all that power, it's going to move a little bit. And the rubber gasket at the bottom that seals around the spindle that goes through gets shredded. And the result is you get all this black rubber that's coating the rim here and little bits of rubber at the base. This gasket gets shredded and pretty soon it's leaking out water and it's basically unusable. Now, we wanted to be sure this was a legitimate problem, so we got a couple of replacement jars. We bought a second one of these to make sure it wasn't just a defective unit. Every time we got to that nut butter test with the almonds going in, after just a few minutes of blending, before we'd gotten to nut butter, we would have a shredded rubber gasket on the base of the machine. Now, it's not like nut butter is really a torture test. It advertises itself as being able to make almond butter, to make all sorts of nut butters. And we mixed it, not even on the highest setting, on about 80%. So if that's going to shred that gasket and it advertises itself as a blender that can handle anything, then man, I don't think this is worth the money. Blendtec has put out a very powerful blender, the most powerful we've tested yet, but it's just not designed to handle it. I think I'd stick instead with the Ninja Ultima Blender, the Vitamix 7500, or even the Blendtec Wildside Blender we reviewed last year. That one didn't have any problems with nut butter, didn't shred itself, the jar held up just fine after repeated tests. The Blendtec 725 can't say that, and for that reason, I can't recommend it. For CNET, I'm Ryan Christ.